Hello and welcome for a walk that I haven't really planned. I am following the footpaths um, for about four miles, four and a half miles, something like that. And I've started today here at Brimham Rocks. These rocks exist in an area known as Nidderdale. And it is quite spectacular. Very similar to the, the rock that you see standing stones made out of. You can see how the natural wind corrosion, erosion rather, has rounded the end of that rock here. And you see the fissure that's been caused by the, I don't know, the weaker layer, I guess. I'm not a geologist, I don't, I'm not an expert. So, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can see how the weaker parts of the rocks is a bit more vulnerable. And as a result of facing out over this valley here, it's quite brutal. It's quite brutally exposed to the elements. This stone here, Why it doesn't fall over is beyond me. But it has, a look, well, this is a location that has some of the most amazing views. And it's quite peculiar because you have all this land here, which is green, that's farmland. And then over here behind me is kind of like moorland. It's heather, it's bracken. And uh, it's a beautiful day. So let's get walking. All right, let's begin this journey by heading down here. And just follow the public path. <clears throat> you can feel almost immediately as you went uh, deeper into the little, uh, I don't know, gully, I guess, of this area. You feel the heat increasing. I'm gonna go this way around this tree. The path is kind of hard to keep track of. This is uh, very different from what I expected. Obviously I had a little look on line to see what the terrain was like. I mean, this is an intense walk. I'm a very low level starter really when it comes to walking. I've only just started my journey into this hobby. But um, there's, you, you certainly feel like you're exposed, but certainly because the sun's directly above me, it is hot. Uh, but there's a nice breeze. It's a beautiful day. I'm not complaining at all. But you're constantly monitoring yourself to see are you being silly or not doing this. And so far I'm okay. I've got water. I am hot, but I'm cool as well. <laughs> I can feel the sun on my face, but I can feel the breeze around my arms. And uh, I'm not quite sure, as I said, where I'm going, but I'm starting to see some curious shaped geological formations ahead. And I'm wondering if I could actually go and look at them. So I'll keep on this road across the moor, and then eventually I think head down into that valley over there, and then back round and do a full circuit. Let's see. What are these things now? So 
So let's just go around this bend. And already I'm starting to see very peculiarly shaped rocks in the distance. Suddenly we're in Colorado. Look at this thing here. In fact, it's quite, it's quite remarkable. I mean, these things are eventually going to fall over, right? But probably another million years. Amazing. I mean, this thing here looks looks like it's about to, to topple over. I'm sure they all have names, by the way. I don't know the names of, of any of them. But it is interesting how you have hard rock, soft rock, hard rock, soft rock. And hence the... I mean, I'm presuming this has taken on this shape because of erosion from the wind. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's quite hard to see because the angle I've come in is in towards the sun. Right, this is like a playground now of crazy rocks and pathways going in every direction. There's people who've clambered all over the place. Let's go up here. Look at that. Look at this thing. I'll head down there, I guess. You can see how some of it is sandstone, look. I mean, that's, that's sandstone there, which is very soft. Just a wee uh, heads up here. I have uh, delved into the world of Patreon and uh, I don't believe anybody would be willing to do it or want to do it, but should you wish to buy me the equivalent of a cup of coffee and sign up to uh, making a donation, you can on Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Uh, it'd be good to see you there and I'm offering a few behind the scenes extras for you all to have a look at. Click the link and go and find out what is actually on offer. Uh, I don't have expensive tiers. Um, I <laughs> I have a lot of tears if nobody joins, <laughs> but uh, if you can help me out with the cost of making these, I'd be very grateful and uh, I appreciate all the support I get. Let's get back to the video. Look at this thing. It's interesting, isn't it? Because this rock here was not placed by a person, we presume, maybe it was, <laughs> it kind of gets passed by. But... Uh, Interesting. It's nearly uh, three o'clock in the afternoon now, and I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this walk today, certainly to the extent that I was intending to. So I think I'm going to have to head down to the main road there and go around the perimeter and do the shorter version, which is kind of a circuit of this area. I'm not sure if we're supposed to stick to paths or as human beings just make our own. But I wonder. How is how how that isn't completely embarrassing to ride your motorbike through beauty spots like this, making that noise. If you're not embarrassed, you're just, uh, you're not self-aware. 
well, once again, I've ended up on a, a tarmac road. It's only a small road, probably four meters wide. I've got the sun in the wrong direction as usual. Uh, I can look at the views from up here because this is obviously some kind of hill, but the views are incredible. Oh, you can see for like miles. <laughs> I don't know how far anything is. I don't have any frames of reference, but I think I can see for about 10 miles. Something like that. Really nice. Oh, there's a thing over there with lots of domes in it. Like an aerodrome or something. Uh, I'm hoping this road is doing the circuit of Brimham Rocks. And it will lead me back eventually to, to my vehicle. Well, I think I'll have to call it quits on this one. Although, not even, a, probably just about two miles in total is all I've done. Still feels like a, you know, a valiant attempt. But it's too late in the day to keep going. I don't deem it safe. And I'm gonna keep going for this, see how far it takes me, and then uh, wrap this one up. But uh, the story's not over yet because I'm not I'm not back yet. So let's see what happens further down the line. Like a lot of these things, I'm seeing vehicles parked at the side of the road, all the way along here. A car coming at twice the speed that you probably should on a small lane like this. Cyclist behind. I sound really grumpy. <laughs> I don't feel very grumpy. I do, I do sound it though, that's for sure. Hi. I think I need to, uh, I need to work out a way to um, cut back on the pouches. I have a, a sea of pouches. I have a river of pouches. Um, around my waist. This is a busy little road today. Another car. Always a delight. I think that's what's made me a bit grouchy there. This is um, like a, a beauty spot with public pathways in it, which means it attracts a lot of attention. I know, I know. You're just being grumpy. Flactopus, what you doing? Stop moaning. God, I'm unsubscribing from this guy. What a numpty. You know, I've just realized that you can probably drive through this thing this little park that I'm in. Why am I walking? <laughs> look, look folks. <sighs> That's what makes it all worthwhile. I'm curious to know if there's like uh, anyone in America or like another park who doesn't live in the UK basically, maybe not even in Europe, who watches a video like this and uh, what they think, what goes through their head. If they haven't come to the, been to the UK before, what is the impression this gives you of the UK? Does it look just like anywhere else? Or does it look pretty unique? Um, if you want to know about any of my other videos as I make them, uh, hit the notification bell, subscribe, obviously. And it also helps me a great deal if you liked the video to like, if you didn't like, hit the don't like and uh, put down in the comments why. Let me know why you liked it or why you didn't like it. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you again and hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.